Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Carrie Rad, and if you've been here before, welcome on back. Today I am in the garden. I am taking all of these organic seeds and I'm putting them into my seed raising kit with my organic seed raising mix. And I'm going to see if I can turn these seeds into seedlings. It is the beginning of spring here in New Zealand, if you didn't know. So this is the time for us to be out here getting the garden ready with veggies and flowers. A lot has happened this week here on the homestead. A lot, a lot is happening currently. And I'll bring you guys a little bit up to speed here. So we've got our no dig vegetable garden beds happening behind us. In a future video, I'll go into all the details of a no dig garden, how to do it and the benefits of it. For now, we've laid down all of our layers. And at the beginning of the week, we went down to the beach to collect some seaweed. Fresh ocean air smells so freaking good. It feels so good to be out on the coast today. It feels good to be exploring more of the region that we live in. What a day, honestly. It's so beautiful today. Oh, I'm just in heaven right now. I just, I'm so happy. This landscape is stunning. There are sheep grazing to my right with beautiful mountains and really interesting tropical trees and then to the left the beautiful coast the ocean rocks oh it's just so gorgeous <laughs> spending quite a bit of time in the garden getting the other layers like compost complete you guys saw in a previous vlog us putting the foundation down of manure and fertilizer and all of that good stuff and now we are at the fun part which is getting the veggies in the seedlings in so that we can have veggies pumping and thriving in the summertime i also am going to be planting a bunch of flowers today because my goal is and i'll show you guys in further detail this area of the garden that i'm looking at here is going to be all flowers and then all of the garden beds that we have we have six large garden beds those are all going to be veggies veggies and flowers work really nicely together because the colorful flowers bring in the bees and then the bees are around nearby to 
also pollinate the vegetable flowers to give us more veggies. Wherever you have a vegetable garden, you wanna make sure that you've got bees as well. So this is a great way for the bees to pollinate and for the flowers and the veggies to all live together in a harmonious way. I might be a little bit of a garden nerd, but I'm very excited about these stainless steel garden snips that I picked up recently. I haven't even opened them yet, but they just look like they are going to last a lifetime. And I love that about these. They're just made of wood and stainless steel and I just think they're beautiful. So I'm gonna open these up. Not that I'll be using them much today, but um, I need some scissors to get that off of there. But I'm very excited to get all of these organic seeds and turn them into seedlings. I should have done this a couple weeks ago, but as you guys know, if you watch my vlogs regularly, there's been a lot happening. So I haven't been able to get these seeds into soil yet to bring them to seedlings. We got some seedlings to just kind of give us a head start that we're going to be putting in the garden today. But as those are going, I'll start growing these seeds so that, you know, in a couple of weeks, I can throw these seedlings into the garden and we can have veggies growing at different stages. I've always found that planting veggies of all different sizes is really helpful because if you're doing a small seedling, it may not produce for you for a couple of months. So if you plant something that's more mature, you'll make sure that you have veggies now and later throughout the summer and even into the fall. This week, I've also been preparing for a project that I want to do next week. So obviously over the next couple of days, we plan on finishing the garden for now so that we can get our plants in. our flowers in. First peonies going in. Beautiful. And we'll add some compost in there. It's actually pretty moist soil, which is pretty good. I didn't know how this would be over here, but it's actually quite nice. It rains a lot in New Zealand, so it's like most of the soil around our property is quite good and kind of take a break from being outside because next week we're going to have a bit of rain. I think it's gonna rain for five days or so, or at least that's what the forecast says. And the forecast here in New Zealand can be, sometimes you really don't know until the day before or essentially the day of, but I want to work on giving our kitchen a little bit of a makeover. And I say a makeover because I'm not doing anything too crazy. I'm not renovating anything. I just want to bring it to a place where it's more us and it feels more customized to us and it's more organized. And I'll show you guys in just a little bit all of the home decor and organization pieces that I got. I'm actually really excited about it because we're not going to be renovating the kitchen for a while. If I had to guess, it won't be renovated for another six months or so. Maybe it'll be finished in six months or maybe we'll start on it in five to six months, something like that, because we're doing the bathroom first. If you watch my other vlogs, you know that. And so I just want to make it feel more us and I want to organize it more. As you guys have seen in other vlogs, everything's kind of open concept with the pantry. So I've been collecting different jars and baskets and I'll show you guys, I got a bunch of really fun stuff and I still am on the lookout for some more things that I wanna collect this weekend or early next week so that I can work on that project this week. So that's probably what my vlog next week will entail, that little kitchen makeover. So I have this seed kit all ready to go and I'm going to just start going in and I'm going to plant my seeds in here and then add a little bit more of the soil on top. You guys can probably see Alex back here gardening as well. You're currently working. There are berry plants all around this vegetable garden area, which is so cool. Yeah, the whole garden is surrounded by, I wanna say like maybe 10 gooseberry plants. Gooseberries are a, a berry from North America, 
kind of from like Canada, if I'm right. Correct me if I'm wrong, internet. Don't worry. They will. I know you will. <laughs> um, but it was real hairy back there. Like the gnar, like just so many weeds. So I actually went to the hire shop and hired a, uh, a weed whacker or a line trimmer as it's called. And um, spent the last two hours just whacking away, but it's made a lot of progress. I can finally get in there. It was just so overgrown with like thistle and spiky pointy weeds. And I think the plan is we'll clear that out and then maybe go back over to the neighbor's shed and grab some more dags and line it all with dags and then mulch it. We won't, we won't do the whole like all the collecting poop and all the seaweed and all that stuff because they're already grow. They're, they're already like, pretty mature. Yeah, you can already see them starting to form. There's also red currant in there. Yeah, so maybe we'll just add a little bit of compost and then um, mulch. But yeah, I mean, it, it's all starting to make sense. When you go to the grocery store and you ask yourself, why are these organic vegetables especially berries so expensive yeah especially berries especially berries it makes sense because doing this all organically um is time consuming and back-breaking work yep but, but it's, it's worth, worth it. it and we are going to make a lot a lot of jams i'm sure from you know jams and jellies with all the berries look at me i just always just go for it with my hands. <laughs> I'm like, I have a trowel here and gloves, but this is just, it's part of the fun. I feel like a little kid again playing with dirt. This is one of the reasons why I rarely do my nails these days. Just depends. If there's a, an occasion, then I might do them, but it's just kind of like with fingers and dirt. Just like washing our car. Like Alex said, we washed our car the other day and we were like, why did we wash our car? We live rurally. Like <laughs> our car had was just completely drenched in dirt like the next day. So we're learning. We're learning these things. The longer I waited, the more that I've tried. All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the window No smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind chime. It's always been you in the back of my mind. Early blue. My last label for this tray is cucumber. So I have two lines of cucumber as well. And I'm kind of going about this as putting the companions near each other just to make it easier for us when we go to pull the seedlings out and plant them next to each other because I'm kind of already doing that uh kind of that thought that forethought because tomatoes love basil and cucumber and cucumber love basil and tomatoes so they're all great companions and they'll all want to be near each other in a garden bed oh my hello <laughs> that was a day. My hair feels squished. I have. I just washed my hands, but I still have dirt in my nails. Just gave Wilson his second to last feed of the day. I'm cleaning his little jar. He's just been in the orchard sleeping all day. Like a good. He's just such a good boy. He loves being in the orchard right now. Before he would thaw the whole time. He didn't seem to like it, but he's starting to enjoy it, which is really nice. We are about to start making dinner, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly some of the pieces that I got for organizing the kitchen, like I mentioned earlier. So I got these little baskets to store on top of the countertop because 
Right now I'm using things like a bread pan <laughs> to store our av avocados. But I just tried it out actually and switched it to here and I really love how it looks. So I'm just gonna do maybe like four of these baskets on our countertop to have avocados, lemons, onion, apple, just so everything is organized and the same because the Virgo in me likes a good organization. Don't we all love a good organization, especially in the kitchen so that when it comes to cooking, things are just much more organized. I got a lot of these jars. I'm gonna put brown sugar in here, some pasta in here. I've already started it. The other day I went and got probably one, two, three, four, five, six different jars. And now I'm just going back and getting more because we have a lot of pantry items. And instead of having a bunch of random stuff, which I've noticed that a lot of you guys have been commenting like, oh, you have that in your pantry or that in your pantry because we have just cans of random things because like I said in earlier vlogs, we had to get a bunch of stuff when we didn't have a refrigerator that we didn't normally eat, but we were sort of camping. So we have a bunch of random stuff in the pantry right now and I hated the way that it looked. A lot of you guys had a lot to say about the Vegemite, especially the gluten-free Vegemite. And um, you're gonna have to take that up with Alex because that's he's the, he's the Vegemite guy. I got these tea towels because we just need more kitchen towels. And also, I'm so excited about doing the kitchen makeover because I got these handles for the drawers, all of the drawers in the kitchen. They're these beautiful bronze handles, half moon shaped, and I love them. And I will reuse these afterwards when we change the whole kitchen. And I can reuse them for dressers that I get at a thrift shop or an antique that I can like make look a little bit more fun and customized. That's one of my favorite things to do, changing knobs to bring new life to certain pieces in your house, whether it be a dresser, whether it be drawers in the kitchen, drawers anywhere in the house. I love doing that. So I got enough to change them out and I'll show you guys when I go about doing that, when I do the full kitchen makeover, which I'm hoping I can do this week. We'll see kind of how it goes. I also picked these up. They're little magnetic multi-purpose clips because there are no hangers or clips or any hooks in anywhere in the kitchen to hang towels to let them dry. So I've actually just been putting these on the side of the refrigerator right next to all the dishes here. It's actually pretty convenient. It hangs like right there. And um, yeah, you can just grab it and then use it for the dishes or your hands or whatever. It was driving me crazy because there was nothing to hook towels onto. And then I got a lot of these hangers. This is my second haul of hangers. I'm doing all just wood hangers like this. My plan is to have all of our hangers match moving forward. Now that we've had to donate all of the hangers in Los Angeles, it kind of gave me the chance to just go in and get all of the same. I like the idea of all closets, everything in the wardrobes to be matching. Good morning. It's 7.30 in the morning. We have been out here weed whacking the chicken coop so that we can get this coop ready for some chickies. We're probably gonna get a couple, maybe two or three, to have some fresh eggs in the morning. They have this chicken coop that's connected to the orchard. So during the day, they can come out of this coop and enjoy the orchard. This chicken coop has great bones. We're actually pretty excited about this, that this is already here and set up. It needs quite a bit of love, but overall, it's in pretty good condition. There are some eggs left over from the previous owners, so inside here it needs to be completely cleaned and just fresh and new for some, some new chickens. I'm not sure how many chicks versus how many adults we'll get. Like if we should have one little baby chick and two adults or vice versa, I'm not sure. Any of you chicken experts out there, let me know in the comments. What's the best uh, scenario we should start off with? But I'm looking forward to getting this sorted because chickens have always been 
a dream of ours. We almost got them when we lived in LA. We considered it at our rental because, you know, we had the big veggie garden and we didn't know how long we'd be there. But once we planted the seed of potentially moving to New Zealand, we gave up that dream because we were like, listen, why are we going to get chickens right now and then eventually move? Also, it was a rental, which would have been fine if we were staying in the States, but I don't think New Zealand would have uh, <laughs> let us import our chickens. So um, we knew to just wait and it's just been a dream of ours for years. We got a lamb before we got chickens, <laughs> just the way it happened. I'm really excited for fresh eggs here every morning. It will be so nice. Wilson is having a good graze near the chicken coop while we work on it. He is all about grass lately. I'm really happy with how much grass he's eating. It's actually sooner than I thought, but he is doing really well and enjoying it. He's still on milk replacer, of course, the same amount, but he is going for it with the grass. We're heading into town to take care of a couple things. We need to return several things. There's been a lot of returns lately because we'll get something for the house and it's not the right thing or we want something a little bit better or whatnot. So we need to go do that. We also need to get some paint for the chicken coop. I want to pick out an exterior paint for that. I might uh, see if I can't pop into a little thrift store really quickly to see if I can find a rug for the kitchen. Don't tell Alex. I just found an exterior paint. I just picked them all out. There was a color called Daisy Wheel. Beautiful little pastel yellow. So that's the one that I'm going to be using for the chicken coop. We went and picked up some lime pathway. So some lime, just like super thin because we want to make it the pathways of the veggie garden. Because we really like how the mulch is darker and then the lime is like kind of more brighter and white. So there's gonna be a nice contrast because not only do we want the veggie garden to produce wonderful, healthy veggies, we also want it to look nice because it's right here at the very front of our home when you first come in and we love, we, we love the veggie garden and we're really excited for it to be a place that we want to spend time in because it's beautiful. We'll probably at some point get some stone steps like some uh just like little flat steps to kind of just create a pathway throughout the garden and maybe i'll get like a little garden sign like the grandmother that i am and i'm just excited for the flowers to start going and the veg i'm just going to spend so much time in here so i want to make it really beautiful so i'm really excited about this we are putting down the fabric lining right now so what this will do is it'll keep it from the weeds growing through the lime as, as well as it can. Obviously it's, some weeds can still come through, but with this fabric down, it's really going to help us so we won't be weeding all, all of the time. Um, and it will really keep the, the weeds at bay from coming through the lime. So we're putting the, the fabric down with these little metal anchors that's what's happening early blue morning when everything's cold i see you running all covered in gold there's nothing else that eases my soul It's a look. We last minute ran over to the landscape store to get more limestone and we wanted to stop in and get more of the anchors, like I said, because we needed more. The landscaping store was closing, so we could not get more lime. So we figured we would go back for the anchors on another day. So we are about halfway, I'd say we're about 50 to 70 
maybe 60% done with the pathways of the veggie garden. So we have more work to do in there, but it's starting to look really nice and we're really loving how the limestone is looking, especially once it starts to compact, it'll be really nice. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we are likely not going to be working on the garden tomorrow. It's the next day and we actually have more sunshine than we thought. We have laid out all of the lime pathway and we love how it's looking. With time, it will compact itself and it will become pretty much as hard as like a concrete. I love the contrast of the lime, the color of the lime, and then the mulch. And then the sleep out is painted a black color that we ended up finishing because the previous owner had left the bottom corner unpainted. And then inside of these rocks here, we will be putting a bunch of colorful flowers along here and then we want to put a nice archway at the entrance of the garden as well. So these are two little lemon trees that are probably just a couple years old or so and then we have a lot more veggie planting to do but I wanted to show you guys just kind of how it ended up turning out. Alex got out here first thing this morning in the rain and finished it all up so he is a champ i'm excited for this to compact a bit more but i love 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 how it looks all together and then we've got our flower bed over here which in due time all of those flowers will end up blooming and we'll be planting more as well just like we will along the sleep out and I'm really excited to get an arch so that you can walk along here and it's sort of like the entrance to the garden and we'll plant some grapevine on the arch. And yeah, I really love how it looks. I think the lime pathway makes it feel a little bit more of a Victorian design with the stone and the lime. And yeah, I just, oh, I really love it. I really, really love it. That being said, this week is all going to be focused on me getting the kitchen to a good place and organizing it like I told you guys and like I showed you um, earlier on in the vlog. So I'm really excited about that. Later on in the week, I hope we get a little bit more sunshine so that I can refocus the energy back to the veggie garden and we can just get that finished, at least the pathway finished, and then we can go in and plant more vegetables and you know it's continuously going to be worked on through the seasons of course but we want to get everything like laid out and organized the way we want it to be so that's just kind of how it goes we have to focus our energy in one place take advantage of the sunshine outside when it comes which we definitely did this week which was lovely because we knew that it was going to be a rainier upcoming week so I'm going to refocus my energy, like I said, and my next vlog will probably be a little, like a small kitchen makeover video. So we got some stuff today actually that I can show you later that's going to be really helpful in a small kitchen space that I think you guys will be into. So I'll see you guys very soon in a new video. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Bye. Mm -hmm.